Number 45. A dolphin in an aquatic show jumps straight up out of the water at a velocity of 13 meters per second. List the knowns in this problem. Okay, I'll do that. And then how high does his body rise above the water? All right. So let's take a look at a uh, dolphin here. Okay, so here's the dolphin. Looks more like a submarine. So the dolphin is going to jump out of the water, right? And it says that the essentially the initial velocity of this dolphin jumping out of the water is going to be, let me just clean that up a little bit, is going to be 13.0 uh, meters per second. All right. And that's all it tells us, right? So now it wants, so we know that, okay? Uh, but we actually know a couple more things, all right? We just have to remember these things. So, and it, as soon as the dolphin jumps out of the water, the dolphin is floating in air, right? So anytime an object is floating in air, I mean, it's not really floating, it's moving, but anytime it's freely in air, okay, you will always know the acceleration. And the acceleration will always be that due to gravity, negative 9.80 meters per second squared. So that's also known, okay? The uh, third thing that's actually known in this problem, and the second thing uh, that we have to kind of think about, is the dolphin will eventually reach all, f all objects that are thrown upwards will always have this type of trajectory, right? Assuming, they, assuming there's nothing impeding their um, uh, travels back to, back to the starting point, all right? So what this is showing is that eventually it will reach its highest point, right? And the highest point you always have to remember, that point will always have a velocity of zero. Okay, so we actually will know that in this problem. Okay, and that's actually an important thing to, to know that the highest point, and I'll write this down, the highest point is the point, right, in which the velocity is zero. Okay, this is for, right, free fall problems. For free fall. Okay, so. Um, I know that once the dolphin reaches, let's say, this point here, it's going to start moving back down. And therefore, I know that the velocity of this dolphin must have stopped for a split second. So the velocity would be equal to zero meters per second. And if, I'm, if I say that this is the initial down at the bottom, then I know that this has to be the final. Okay, wonderful. Great, so I think I have everything I pretty much uh, need or whatever. And now it says discuss, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's move down to, so, well, I still have to solve how high, right? So we have to solve for the displacement, essentially, correct? So I'm thinking of a formula that I need, uh, that will relate, I should say, the final velocity, the initial velocity, the acceleration, and the displacement. So which one on the right-hand side will do that? Right, equation number four. Okay, so let's write that down. So this is part B. So we got the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus two times A times X. Okay, final velocity we're gonna assume is zero because it wants to know how high and we know the highest point is at the point in which the velocity is zero. So the initial velocity is 13 um, and that's gonna be squared plus two multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, negative 9.80 times now my displacement, which is what I'm trying to solve for. So let's clean it up, let's do some math. So square the 13, okay, that works out to be 169, that's three significant figures. Okay, then this is going to be minus now, uh, so two times 9.8, right, which works out to be negative uh, 19.6, that's three sig figs, and that'll be x. So add this on over to the uh, left-hand side, 19.6x, right? So what do we get down here? So now we get, 19.6x equals the 169. Now all we have to do is just divide out now the 19.6. All right, so I'll write it a little neater over here. So let's write 19.6x is equal to 169. And now just divide out the 19.6, right? Divide out the 19.6. So my x value will now be 100, uh-oh. He really likes to do physics. I, every time he can't get in here, he always cries. He's such a good boy, though. And any, 
I mean, most people cry when they have to do physics. He cries when he doesn't. I don't, I don't understand it. I cry when I have to do physics. Anyway, so, uh, so the, the X value here, the displacement will be 8.62, all right? And that is in meters. So that's how high that the dolphin will actually jump. All right, he's going to jump about eight and a half meters out of the water. All right. And now, so for part C, um, part C will be to now find how long the dolphin is in the air. All right. So what we're doing now is we're looking for time, right? We need to solve for time here. So what I want to do is I want to think, do I know a, an equation that relates time, initial velocity, acceleration, and final velocity? And I do, right? It's the equation at the top. So the final velocity will be equal to the initial velocity plus the, well, actually, why is crying? Because it's bedtime. But um, I like to think it's because he wants to do physics. <laughs> so in any case, um, so we have our formula. So let's start plugging things in, right? Zero is the final velocity. The initial velocity will be 13.0. The acceleration is due to gravity, negative 9.80. And then multiplied by the time, which is what we're trying to find, right? So let's clean it up. 13.0 minus 9.80t. Right, add the 9.80, oh, 9.80 to both sides, right? So add that to this side as well. And that's T, right? So that cancels. Oh man, so now this gives me 9.80 T is equal to 13.0. Divide out that 9.80 now. Divide out the 9.80. And now the time then just simply becomes, so take out your calculator, do 13 divided by 9.8. And when we get, uh, the answer we get there is gonna be 1.3, Three, we're going to have three significant figures, and that's in terms of seconds. So that'll be the total time that the dolphin is in the air. All right, I got to run. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.